वेलकम टू बुक्स दैट स्पीक सुपम्मा लव्स टू बिल्ड थिंग्स आउट ऑफ रिसाइकल्ड वेस्ट बट शी डजेंट लाइक पेइंग अटेंशन इन स्कूल और डूइंग होमवर्क कैन सुपम्मा बिकम सक्सेसफुल बाय फॉलोइंग हर पैशंस द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी सुपम्मा लव्स टू क्राफ्ट ओरिजिनल स्टोरी इन तमिल बाय प्रथम बुक्स रिटन बाय सलाई सेल्वम इलस्ट्रेटेड बाय विभा सूर्या ट्रांसलेटेड बाय तिरुपुरा सुंदरी सेवल नरेटेड बाय असावरी दोषी सुपम्मा लाइक टू टेक थिंग्स अपार्ट एंड पुट देम बैक टुगेदर शी कलेक्टेड ट्रैश फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट शी स्कल्प्टेड वेजिटेबल्स यूजिंग नेल्स एंड अ स्क्रू ड्राइवर एंड शी स्पोक टू प्लांट्स वाव You have so many new flowers today. How do you keep them from falling off? Suppamma often got into trouble by breaking things when she should have been studying instead. When Suppamma was in standard 3, the teacher asked each student to build a model house. Suppamma looked at houses in her neighborhood and finally decided on building a small version of her house. She collected sticks and sap from the trees, cardboard and paper from the streets, and she started putting them all together. But when she saw that it looked different from her own house, she knocked it down and started over. This time, she plastered the sticks to the cardboard with mud and even added windows. So Pamma was very proud of her house. She woke up early in the morning and carefully carried it to school. So Pamma stayed at the back of the class while her classmates crowded around the teacher. "Sir, look at Suppamma's so house. It has windows," said Mani. "Did you make this yourself, Suppamma?" So asked the teacher. "Yes, sir. I made it all by myself," replied Suppamma. So "How did you make it?" asked the teacher so i gathered twigs from the neem tree and leaves from the banyan tree supamma so, told her teacher but there aren't any banyan leaves here said the teacher yes sir uh, i decided not to use them replied supamma so, very good keep making more houses the teacher said patting her on the back Suppamma's so, classmates crowded around her cardboard house the entire day. One day, Amma caught Suppamma so, cutting carrots to make wheels for her cart. "What are you doing? Why are you wasting carrots?" Amma snatched the cart out of Suppamma's so, hands and threw it away. Suppamma so, held back her tears and continued building. Suppamma so, reached the 8th standard with a lot of difficulty. One day there was a special event at school. Trainer Thatha taught Suppamma so, and her class to make useful things from trash. Trainer Thatha took straws, paper cups, rugs and ropes and turned them into useful household objects. Suppamma so, helped Trainer Thatha She memorized the names of all his different tools. Suppamma so, practiced and practiced and soon she became almost as good as trainer Thatha. Suppamma so, made bird dolls instead of solving maths problems. She made ladles for the kitchen instead of doing her homework. This made Amma angry. Stop wasting time and do your school work. Amma yelled. I learned this at school so it's cool work ma supamma so, replied one day supamma so, saw an old coconut shell in the waste she picked it out wondering if she could use it to make something supamma so, collected three shells that day she polished the first shell and drank coffee with it every day she tried to use broken pieces of the second shell to play hopscotch and she used the third shell to make a doll trainer thatha taught supamma how to use a drill to make holes he also taught her how to cut coconut shells and piece them together 
Supamma drew a bird on a coconut shell. Then she drew a pair of wings on another shell. She cut the shapes out of the two coconut shells and pasted them together. Her face overflowed with excitement. When Supamma failed her 10 standard exams, Amma and her teacher were very angry. Supamma pretended to be sad, but she was secretly excited about all the time she could spend making new things now. She began to collect coconut shells. After all, coconut shells were free. Supamma found sandpaper to smoothen out the shells, brushes to paint them and needles to punch holes in them. Supamma made a bangle out of a shell. Then. She made an elephant and a fish. She made jewel boxes, a little and even a human face. Children drank coffee out of her cups, ate murukku out of her bowls and bought her coconut shell buttons. Soon people stopped telling Supamma that she was wasting her time. Children came to learn crafts from Supamma. People wondered if Supamma had started a school. Bring coconut shells when you come. Hold it, hold it like this. Polish it and make it smooth. Now draw a fish on it. When you come tomorrow, draw a horse and bring it back. Schools invited Supamma to conduct craft workshops with her coconut shells. One day, Supamma wondered if she could start selling her toys. She decided to put up a stall at the Pondicherry Crafts Fair. Supama's craft stall was a success. How much is that dove earring? 75 rupees, said Supama's mother. Is that a Buddha statue? Yes, pick it up and see. After the crafts fair, Supama finally opened a coconut craft shop in her house. And that's how Supama's love for crafts made her successful. Wasn't that a beautiful story? So now, it is a time for today's question. Tell me any one thing which you can recycle and reuse it to make something useful. Recyclable or reusable thing, which we generally throw, but you can use it to make something else. I am just waiting for your replies on our email id contact.booksthatspeak at gmail.com and for many more stories, visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com. See you in our next story. Bye-bye. Thank you.